is up everybody this is joshua howell writer reviewer for victims and villains here to give you a quick movie review for the 2023 western film surrounded uh surrounded stars letitia wright you might uh remember or recognize her from the black panther series um also jamie bell is the co-lead and you've got a couple other uh recognizable faces in there as well um brett gilman from stranger things and uh jeffrey donovan from burn notice uh make up the cast this is very simple but i think effective and and decent western film um you know when you think of what makes a good western film uh gunslinging action uh a desolate barren wasteland of you know the the old days of of the american plains um yeah I, I i think this kind of fits all those things it's a it's a lower budget film there's not a lot of uh different locations and whatnot but it's effective um i uh you know westerns i think used to be a lot more popular than they are now uh you, you don't see very many and and the ones that you do see are um uh well, I, I guess they just don't make them very prominently anymore. Uh, so this one, as far as I know, isn't a remake of any kind. Um, that's also something you see often with, with modern westerns. They all seem to be like a Magnificent Seven remake or a 310 to Yuma remake or something like that. This is uh, an original story uh, surrounding Mo Washington, who is trying to get a recently freed slave who is trying to get to Colorado to claim land uh, that they um, purchased for their family and um, boards a stagecoach and things go awry with that stagecoach as it is attacked by Tommy Walsh and his gang of misfits. And um, uh, Mo Washington is just trying to hang on to um, their... Uh, plot of land certificate and and defend it with their life mo washington is played by letitia wright i think it's pretty clear to all of us from the first frame of the movie that it is letitia wright playing it uh she's she's trying to pass herself off as a guy um and somehow <laughs> the majority of the cast think that that's the case uh she speaks in a in a very kind of a low rough uh edgy tone um you know uh, uh covers up her hair with the with uh and, and kind of dresses in a more male um cowboy-esque outfit uh and so pretty much everybody on the stagecoach thinks that she's a young scrawny guy um and and that goes to her favor she's a very capable person traveling the the plains by herself trying to get to colorado to claim that land and she just would rather nobody bother her. But when people do bother her, uh, things get crazy. And so I don't want to spoil the, the the film at all, but I, I did like this film. Um, like I said, it's kind of lower budget. It's got limited locations. And, and typically when that happens, it can either get really boring or if it's character dialogue driven, it can keep your interest. And I think that was the case here. They had a couple different locations that they kind of maximized. And uh, uh, I, I think with the cast, I was intrigued and wanted to see what happened. Um, it's not that long of a film. Um, I can't remember the runtime, but it certainly didn't feel uh very long um so i didn't think you know with those limited locations like it was just dragging on um there was a beginning middle and an end and i think it flowed very well um i really did like the characters um letitia wright i thought was great in this role um she was confident she she uh had some really good dialogue moments she uh was uh pretty awesome with the pistol and uh, I felt that she could stand up to uh, a lot of her cast members. Uh, another person that is in this film is Michael Kenneth Williams. And he is always a pleasure to see on screen. 
And I don't know if this is his last role or not. He unfortunately passed away in 2021. But if you look at his history, I mean, Boardwalk Empire and The Wire and a lot of other stuff that he's been in, he's just he's just always a compelling presence. And so when he shows up in this film, I just I was just grinning. I just like I just like seeing him on on uh, the screen. So um, I, I don't I, I, this might be his last role. And if it is his last role, I was very happy to see it. If it's not, I'll be interested to see what else um is still coming down the chain but either way that was fantastic to see i really did think that this cast uh was was just enough for this film and um yeah i was entertained i uh um i have seen <clears throat> i'll be brief with this but i have seen a lot of comments lately uh because i went back and i watched the trailer for this film because sometimes I like to watch the film and then go back and watch the trailer to see if the trailer kind of matches up or if it was misleading or anyway. And I'm not going to lie. I saw a lot of uh, comments. Uh, some of them were just, you know, oh, this is the worst Western ever. Uh, and then when you like saw why, the majority of it was because it had a female lead. And uh, I've been seeing that a lot lately. Uh, 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 J-Lo just put out a movie, Mother. Um, uh, uh, she obviously stars in um and and there's been a few other female lead movies that have dropped lately and they all kind of seem to have the same comments oh my gosh you know a female lead in an action movie is so unbelievable even the strongest female could be taken down by the average male it's just stupid uh that's just dumb as hell and and if that's the reasoning for people to hate films it really annoys me and gets under my skin i i i will say that there are some films that um that don't uh showcase their female leads very well um but i've always i've always been someone that enjoys a female lead especially in an action role i mean i grew up on things like alias you know with uh sydney bristow played by jennifer garner and she certainly wasn't coming out with these big you know uh uh, uh, bodybuilder muscles or, or, you know, guns for days and, and, you know, just overpowering all these scrawny little bad guys. But it was believable that with the right amount of training, she could be, uh, a force to be reckoned with. And then, you know, uh, throughout the ages, you know, what La Femme Nikita or, um, just, just there's, there's a lot or Kill Bill or, you know, there's a lot of iconic female characters that, um, you know, it's believable that they could be um, a, a competitive force. And so I think, you know, uh, uh, commenting like that or, or discarding a film just because it has a female lead and it's an action film and, and on the notion that it's just not possible, you know, that they could be uh, any type of um uh any type of uh uh fight against a man it's just not you know it's just dumb <laughs> it's just dumb so in this film yes letitia wright is definitely scrawny and meant to be uh but uses that to her advantage and is is this uh um person that people uh do discard and do think that they don't have to worry about and she turns the tables on them so i really enjoyed it i thought it was fun I would highly recommend it on a on a um, uh, scale of one to five stars. I'd give this a solid uh, four stars. I, I think it was good. I I mean, there's always room for improvement, but I I didn't go into this expecting much, and I ended up uh, enjoying the performance. I think Letitia Wright and Jamie Bell kind of acting off of each other really uh, uh, led the movie, and um, yeah, I I recommend it. So. If you are looking for a Western in 2023, this might be it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I would just say that in terms of the mental health moment, if there are people rooting against you, if there are people counting you out uh, for one reason or another, don't let that sink in. Um, like this character, you know, believe in yourself, believe in what you're worth and uh, your actions and your... Um, your uh, the way you carry yourself and the way you handle the uh, obstacles in your life will prove those people wrong. Uh, if you are in need of any mental health resources or suicide prevention resources, please check out 
all the things we have to offer uh, through victims and villains. Uh, we're trying to spread the message of hope. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for being here and thanks for listening to this review. All right, see ya.